This week's Torah portion is Chaye Sarah, which means the life of Sarah, although uh, interestingly, the portion starts by describing Sarah's death. Uh, Abraham buys a place for her to be buried, and then he sends his servant uh, to get a wife for Isaac. The servant comes back with Rebekah, and when Isaac goes and uh, meets them, uh, the, the Torah tells us that he saw Rebekah, and he loved her, and he found comfort um, with her after his mother's death. Uh, these are very unusual words for the Torah. We don't generally uh, learn how the patriarchs and matriarchs loved one another. So what do those words mean? Uh, Isaac's life is uh, considered often to be the most unremarkable of the patriarchs. We mostly know what was done to him rather than what he uh, actually did. Right? We know he was nearly sacrificed by his father, and uh, we know that at the end of his life, he was deceived by his son, Jacob. So what about between these two incidents? So between them, uh, Isaac did a variety of things. He's thought to have been a contemplative personality. He loved his wife. He got along with his neighbors. He uh, felt the presence of God. So these things, are they unremarkable or not? Uh, in fact, uh, it's these uh, very essential, simple, uh, basic things um, that are extremely remarkable. They're the things that most of us wish for in life, uh, in fact, because for most of us, uh, meaning and blessing is not found in the dramatic moments that were typical of Abraham's life or of Jacob's life, but in the simple things that Isaac was able uh, to achieve, an inner spiritual life, a wife that he loved, and strong bonds with his neighbors and uh, a sense of God's presence in his life. Uh, so for all of those reasons, um, perhaps for all of us, Isaac is the patriarch that we should most uh, strive to be like in our own lives.